Hello, welcome to this computer tutoring Power BI tra training session or Power BI tutorial. Now, this time we're going to have a look at previous year, but previous year to date. Now, if you haven't already done so, I really encourage you to look at the other tutorials, the ones that show you how to calculate the years to date, also how to calculate the previous year as well. I think is one that looks at this year's sales and previous year sales and gets a percentage between the two. So have a look at those so you fully understand how this works. So I'm using my standard um, database here. I have dim date over here on the right hand side. If I just zoom in so you can see, so I have a dim date table. So if you want to know how to create the date table, then look at the date table video. So let's get started, shall we? First thing we want to do is we want to create a measures table. So I'm just going to go onto the home tab just up here and just going to go to enter data. And all I want to do here is create a key measures table. So let me just type in key measures. That's great. And then the key measures table appears on the right hand side over here. So first things first, I'm just going to get a total revenue. So I'm going to, if you look here, you can see I've got a total, but I want to use a measure. So I'm creating a total revenue measure. So if I right click on key measures and I go down to new measure and I'm going to call this one total rev. And the value of that is going to be the sum of fact sales and I believe it's total. Let me just zoom in so you can see what I'm talking about there. So you can see total rev. So that's the basic rev um, measure that I'm going to use to calculate other ones. So press enter. Make sure that's working fine. That is. Just going to zoom back a little bit. Uh, there we go. So what I'm going to just do is just going to delete column one over here. So right, oops, just right click on column one. I'm going to delete so I can delete it and then confirm the deletion. And that's my total rev um, rev measure. So just to think, well, what does that do for me if I just create a matrix here? I'm just going to drag this down a little bit and just drag it out. So if I'm interested in the date, so if I drag in the year and then the month in here, and then if I drag now, I would use total revenue in values. That's good. Oh, just one more thing. Just going to change the formatting by using the modeling tab, going to the formatting drop down lists and choosing English United Kingdom. Then we've got total revenue. I'm just going to use my paint roller button here so let me just zoom in so you can see so here we go the paint roller just here go down to grids and then if i scroll down and choose increase my text size a little bit so if i go over here you can see my text size has increased quite a lot and then i'm just going to drill down by clicking on the drill down button just here so i can see my months as well which is good right so that's the total revenue so what I want to do is I want um, to have a previous year and a previous year to date. So we can do this by just linking. There's a couple of ways to do it. There's an easier way and a hard way. So the easiest sort of way is by doing two separate measures. So if we want a year to date measure, so I'm just going to right click on key measures here and go to new measure. And it appears at the top. Let me just zoom in so you can see the calculation. So what I'm going to do is put dates, year to date. And then that will be uh, calculate, and I'm going to use total revenue. And then I'm going to push put dates YTD. And then go to the dim tape date table and choose dates here. That's great. Uh, while I'm here and I've got it selected, I'm going to click on my formatting button and choose English United Kingdom. And then if I go back over here and drag that back over onto here, I can see I've got cumulative values here. Excellent. All righty then. So what I'm going to do next, I'm, um, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to create a measure to do previous year. So let's do that one. So we can uh, do that one. So if we uh, we do the previous year one. So if I go over here, right click new measure, new measure, and I'm going to type in previous year. And then with this year, I'm just going to use the calculate function and I'm going to use total revenue and this time it's I'm going to use the date add function to go and then the dim date to go back 
So if I just zoom in a bit, so it just makes it easier to see. Here we go. So the dim date function, just to go back with date here, minus one year. That's great. And then press enter. And then I'm going to format that as pounds and pence as well. So if I go back, so here's my previous year here. I'm just going to drag it on to, and I can see there's my previous year. I tell you what I'm going to do as well is I'm just going to select this and then just move previous year up and in, but just after total revenue. So it's total revenue previous year. So now I've got dates year to date. So the last thing that I want to do is what this tutorial is all about, all about is to how to do year to date for the previous year. And in that way, we can do a work out a little percentage. So let's use, we've already got the um, dates YTD here. So what we can do is I can right click, new measure. Let me just zoom in a little bit. Okay. And then and I'm going to call this one previous YTD. YTD. And then again, I use the calculate. But now I can use dates year to date. Yeah, and now I can use the, uh, so that's doing the dates year to date, and then I can type in here my date, add dim date, date year minus one year. Good, press enter, make sure I've got no errors. Make sure I change it to pounds and pence. There we go. And if I go now to my previous year today and drag it over onto here, it should add, uh, add that one here. So let me just make that and zoom back a bit so you can see. So now if you just look here, you can see we've got the previous year and now we've got the previous year to date. So there we go. So that's a way of actually creating that. So it's linking one measure to another. I said this was the easier way, um, which we can do. You can actually write this all in one function. I'll show you that right now. So if I just just make that a little wider uh, and let me just quick create a new key measure. So new measure. So right click here. Let me zoom in so you can see. So I'm going to call it previous uh, YTD uh, um, all. This is all together. Brilliant. Oh, I tell you what, I put consolidated consolidate it's quite a long name for a measure but here we go so start off with the calculates uh, and this time what i'm going to do is i'm going to use my total revenue and then i'm going to put my dates ytd so i calculate that one first make sure i select the actual uh, function instead of the measure this time and then inside that i can put my date ads and then use my dim date um date minus one yeah go back for the uh close the bracket for the date add close the bracket for dates ytd and close the brackets for the calculate function press enter and last but not least if i just change this to pounds and pence there we go and let me just zoom back so there we go so there we go so if i now drag this across i should get exactly the same figure as before so let me just go here as you can see, it's exactly the same figure, but this is the one that's been consolidated. So I just put in the date add inside the dates year to date. Okay, so now let's see if we can work out a percentage uh, based on the increase and the difference from previous year to date to current year to date. So what I'm going to do is right click and create a new measure. And there's the measure at the top. Let me just zoom in so you can see. So I'm going to just call it percent uh y today ytd difference i'll do so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to take the difference so let's presume that dates year to date is greater than the previous year to date so i'm going to say dates year to date take away previous year to date there we go and then i'm going to divide that by the dates year to date. So I press enter. Hope this one works. Just going to format it as a percentage. There we go. So if I just zoom back, uh, here we go. And then I'm going to drag that over to our table here. Uh, and as you can see, 
Uh, for this one here, dates year to date to previous year to date, you can see that uh, there's 100% because it's a 100% increase. And if I look down here to 2015, I can see there's an 8.44 difference or increase. So if I look here at uh, dates year to date, uh, here at uh, 3,700 here, there's a, like an 8% increase over the previous year to date. And you can see the first month, January, where we got sales on January 2015, but we didn't have any sales in January 2014. So that's 100%. And then you can start to see sort of the difference there. And then it's even got some minus figures when we've made less in this year, cumulatively there, to last year. So you can see certain figures there. Now that's all for the previous year to date tutorial. Uh, please, if you've not already done so, click on the subscribe button there and click on the little bell to receive more notifications. Uh, if you've got anything out of this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in a Power BI training course or you're looking for some step-by-step -step instructions, then please check out our website, www.computertutoring.co.uk. Thank you so much for watching.